Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of December 18th to the 24th, 2023. First card out for you is community in reverse. So there may be a family function this week or some sort of get together with people. And you know, I'm kind of seeing an awkwardness specifically oh, like in the in-between uh, phases. So for example, you may go there, say your hellos, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like you're waiting for something, like waiting for food, waiting for someone to show up. And it's kind of awkward. I feel like some of you may be feeling a little bit out of the loop. This could even be in a work situation. It could be in any community that you find yourself in, whether it is a function that you're going to, some sort of party you're going to, or even just your general work atmosphere or neighborhood. I feel like you just don't really click with the people there and you're just trying to like make it through <laughs> the event. <laughs> I'm just being honest. It's like kind of an awkwardness that I'm feeling. I'm not surprised this is coming up with like so many holidays taking place uh, this week. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not surprised. <laughs> All right. And it's the end of the year. Like uh, it's, it's a weird time of the year for a lot of people. And you know, there may be some, some missing, uh, feeling like you're missing someone, missing out on someone or something, wanting a comfort person there who may not be here or may not um, be around uh, at this time. Then we have the oldest fairy coming out from the Fairy Wisdom Oracle. And guys, this talks about living your life to the fullest, okay? Absolutely living your life to the fullest. And I'm also seeing the passing of time is significant for you. You may be noticing the age of people around you, specifically um, older family members. You may be looking at them and really seeing how they are aging and remembering, you know, how they used to be. So that's very nostalgic. It's very beautiful. I think aging is very, very beautiful, by the way. So when I talk about aging, um, it's always a good thing. And also this is feeling your own aging, your own passing of time. And the oldest fairy gives us the wisdom of making the most of our time, living life totally full, um, and taking action on our ideas, our dreams, our goals, even if we're like a hundred years old, okay? So take action on that. And then your messages from spirit is love. Mm, beautiful, beautiful love. We see love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. I'm seeing the message here of just being yourself, guys. Um, if you're attending anything this week um, or literally just like working, <laughs> all right, and you're in a community that you feel like you don't belong, I'm, a I'm seeing the message of like literally just be yourself dress the way that you want to dress, say the jokes that you want to say, um, even if it doesn't fit in. That genuineness is what makes you a likable person, you know? Um, for example, I always think of like, or I, I don't know why I say I always think, this is literally the only time I had this thought, um, of like an, a very normal family that's like very Christian and like pure, but you know, uh, they may love to get together and watch like the raunchiest like comedy specials, uh, stand-up comedy. And it's like, you know, those comedians are so far <laughs> from the type of people they are, but they get together and appreciate that because of the genuineness, because of the funniness. So it's like, we can all appreciate each other's differences. And I feel like, you know, you're being asked by your spirit guides to literally just be yourself. You know, also think of people like Lady Gaga or uh, these pop stars who dress very avant-garde and you know are, are totally 110% themselves you know people like worship them and love them even though they're normal even though they're boring the person listening to them um, and it's because they are uniquely themselves so when you look at it like that um, it really shows the power of being yourself even if you don't feel like you fit in even if you feel like you don't belong in a specific group of people when you're able to truly be yourself you command so much respect and you become very magnetic and people remember you you become the life of the party that's the secret to being the life of the party is literally just by being yourself okay that makes you a memorable person in the best way possible be authentic be uh, loving towards yourself, love yourself by being yourself, you know, not trying to hide who you are, you know, show up to the in-laws family party, um, you know, dressed how you want to dress, saying the jokes you want to say. <laughs> Why not? Let them love you or hate you for who you are, <laughs> not for someone else. 
All right, we're gonna get six cards, two rows of three. Life is too short to like fit in, you know? <laughs> we have the five of swords in reverse. Wow, yeah. Definitely confirms that community card in reverse. There's someone uh, in this week where I feel like you just don't respect them, okay? Like you really don't. This feels like someone who is judgmental, closed-minded. They have, uh, they might have like very far-leaning uh, politics or way conservative views or like extremist views um, that you don't agree with. And it's like you feel because of their energy or I don't know how to say, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. You watch tarot readings. Sometimes people just give off an energy that makes you feel like you can't be yourself around them. And I feel you dealing with someone like that this week. And some of you may feel a little bit anxious because you may have an event coming up with a lot of people like that or, um, I don't know, it, it's unusual. Okay, we also have, okay, three cards came out all together. <laughs> Ready for this? We have the 10 of pentacles, which shows happiness, family get together. Like we said, I, I definitely feel like there's a get together this week, which isn't, you know, that huge of a psychic prediction for this week of the year, but whatever. Um, we do see that coming up and there will be a lot of happiness there. I feel like you're happier with your own people. Um, but again, like there may be like a work party or like in-law type of family party, something like that, um, that you just don't feel very comfortable with. Or there may be a certain relative that shows up that you're just like, mm, I don't know about that. I, I see an event with particular people that make you feel like you cannot be yourself or be 100% comfortable. Then we have the queen of wands showing up as well, which again is that energy of like, you're the life of the party when you're in your authentic energy, having fun, enjoying yourself nonetheless. So I feel like this is a huge possibility here of like really having a good week um, if you embrace this fun energy and, you know, take on the attitude of like, you know what, I'm just gonna sit back, relax, enjoy myself and let everyone else's drama like be my entertainment when you start looking at people's like extreme politics and nasty personalities as a source of entertainment um it really changes your mood and lessens anxiety but then of course we have the three of cups again in reverse which is so interesting because you had the community card which is pretty much the three of cups and they're both coming out in reverse so there's definitely some sort of get together this week for you guys that you are not necessarily enjoying. Um, so that's very, very interesting. Some of you um, may just be questioning generally in life. Um, there may be a group that you're involved with and you're questioning, you know, should I like move on to a different group? Like this could be like a work atmosphere that you don't like. And it's like, should I literally just get a new job? Um, or, you know, the, the atmosphere has seemingly changed. Um, at a place that you used to frequent or go to a lot. Uh, even friend groups, you know, there may be friend, new mutual friends that have entered the friend group and you just don't like them. And it's like, I don't get the same amount of joy here. And you feel the dynamics, the passing of time, the aging process take place. And you're not necessarily resonating um, with certain environments like you used to. And so I feel, you know, you wanting to distance yourself from that, questioning that and protecting your peace there. And um, Spirit's saying, yeah, go where you um, feel like you can be your authentic self. However, another thing I wanna say is, if you're feeling triggered by this, you know, you don't have to just like completely cut everything and everyone off that you don't resonate with. Use this as a lesson from the universe to learn how to feel like you can be yourself no matter who you're talking to or what environment you are in. I feel like that is the true lesson here. Not necessarily like cutting everyone off and only surrounding yourself with people who agree with you. I feel like so many spiritual, you know, leaders and people like really talk about that. Like just cut people off who don't resonate with you. I think something that's very undervalued in today's society, something a lot of people don't teach their children, which they should, is how to have a conversation and respect people who do not have the same beliefs as you, who you do not agree with. How can you sit down and have diplomatic relations with those people and actually respect them and learn from them and have an open mind? I feel like so many people don't teach their children that. They don't practice it themselves either. And that causes a lot of the hate that we see in this world. Um, so I feel like spirit um, is kind of... Uh, 
having you practice that or wanting you to practice that energy. Next, we have the Eight of Pentacles, which shows hard work, okay? Working hard towards your personal dreams. And I'm seeing you're not wanting to give up on um, your productivity. Productivity. Some of you may be in an event or a social circumstance where you're thinking to yourself in those in-between stages, like I said, where you're just like waiting and you're thinking like, man, I'd rather like be home, like working on my own little projects, doing my things that I'm passionate about. So I am seeing that. Let's see. We have the emperor. Yeah, some of you are addicted to being productive. I can resonate with that. <laughs> and we are entering Capricorn season soon, so it's not shocking to me that this energy is starting to present itself. Um, but yeah, I am seeing an organization here. I'm seeing increased finances as well. Some of you may be getting some money, um, gifts, obviously, bonuses, things like that, um, that are, are really good. Like money's looking really, really good. Investments may be taking off. And final card out, Ace of Swords, a new way of looking at things. Um, and also like a new way of uh, just like approaching um, life, you know, approaching people more from the perspective of this is who I am authentically, take it or leave it. That is beautiful. I feel like your mind is opening up to new ideas, new ways of seeing things. And there is a sense of uh, diplomacy here. So that is beautiful. Thank you guys for joining me. Watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview this week. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my goddess energy intention oil there and spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye-bye.